you bow hunting fanatics out there. This is Alan Rubel again, coming back at you from Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. Uh, I'm out here today with Carrie Wells from Bow Hunt Wyoming. Uh, we have just finished the first two stocks uh, of the 2018 season of Bow Hunt Wyoming. And I just want to give you a little bit of a recap of uh, some of my expectations of when we are preparing for this hunt and, and just what we have seen and experienced so far. This is our first, uh, first day of four hunt, uh, four day hunt. So anyway, I, you know, as you can see, we're just in a, a beautiful landscape and to be real honest with you, uh, Carrie, you're right. I probably should have got that <laughs> pronghorn uh, tag because we have been uh, chasing these pronghorns for about the last 200 miles and we have just seen them uh, again and again. And, and we're, we're also sporting the uh, uh, four real deer signaling decoy. Uh, Paula has sent us out with a prototype antelope decoy and, and we went on these first two uh, antelope stocks and and definitely has gotten my my blood pumping um, but unfortunately we haven't been able to seal the deal um, Carrie what what can we expect here in the next next plan what are we going what are we doing here the, the pronghorns they uh, find a place to bed and, and that's what we just seen a little while ago that nice buck was bedded down Isn't that very nice and so this time of the day they're going to be bedded down so it's a good time for us to maybe just uh, recharge our batteries get something to eat yeah uh, you know relax for just a little bit but then this afternoon, that's when they're the very most active. They're gonna be looking for that spot for bedding down uh, in the evening. And so we're gonna get out this afternoon. We're gonna spot some. We also are gonna do a little bit of mule deer preparation for tomorrow. So yes. uh, we, we got, the rest of day is gonna be busy, busy, busy as we get out here. Awesome, awesome. Well, folks, hey, we are doing our best here to bring in you some, some uh, jam-packed action. Uh, I have full confidence in Kerry. Uh, he, he is a professional and knows what he's doing. Hopefully, I can keep up with him uh, for the next four days and don't have to go to the ER <laughs> on the way back to, to Missouri. This is definitely not like hunting in the Ozarks. It's a completely uh, different atmosphere and is something that, I, that I'm wanting to get into and definitely appreciate uh, the opportunity for letting me to come out here with you this year. Enjoy it. Take care, brother. It's funny how a plan can fall apart as quickly as it has come together. We are doing a spot and stock on a lone antelope doe standing at the top of the hill. Unfortunately, we were unaware of the other antelopes bedded in the tall grass. Suddenly, a large pronghorn stood up 25 yards in front of Kerry. Again, neither one of us had a pronghorn buck tag in hand, and the event happened so quickly I was unable to catch it on film. This gave us a huge adrenaline rush and something to chuckle about the rest of the afternoon.
This was a very intense moment during this spot in stock. Carrie had continued down the ditch, using it for concealment. I could barely make out the top of his head through the tall grass. Both of these antelope were just out of bow range, and he was doing everything he could to close the distance. My focus was completely on the doe, not knowing at any moment there could be an impact. This was day three, and we had already had a wild roller coaster ride of ups and downs on every stock, but we were also getting closer after every attempt. Time was running short, but we knew if we continued our pursuit, we could seal the deal on one of these antelope. the top of the hill. These seven antelope does were 120 yards off in the distance. Kerry is a, a great archer marksman and can make a shot to 80 to 85 yards, but we needed to close the distance. That's where a decoy in this type of environment is so vital. Luckily, we had the four-wheel deer signaling decoy and we're using the rump to close the distance. Unfortunately, this time, as you can see, there was too many eyes in the group looking in our direction. I don't think it was a complete pass through, but it got in there far enough. I'm exciting to see where I hit and uh, what kind of damage it did. I just want to take a moment to give Kerry some props on his perfect shot placement. 55 yards, heart shot. She maybe went 100 yards. But anyway, perfect shot placement. I'm excited to share my harvest with you today. We're out of here in Wyoming, so please excuse all the wind here, but that's what you get on the prairie. But you get also a lot of animals. Um, I founded Bohunk, Wyoming about eight years ago. This is my 10th year out here, and uh, today was definitely an exciting hunt. It's day three, and this was the third stalk of the day. I found a group, and uh, they're just starting to come in the rut. And so uh, the bucks are getting their harem of does together, and we found this doe. Uh, she hadn't got with that buck yet, so we was able to put a short stalk on her, uh, get about a 55-yard shot, and uh, luckily the Lord blessed us with this 
Texas Harvest. So uh, if you want more information, go to Bowman, Wyoming on Facebook, like us. We're going to be sharing the YouTube video of this later on today. And we have some other adventures we can talk about and outdoor adventures from Missouri. And we've got lots of things to share. Hopefully, we got one more day here to get a mule deer buck with our bow. If not, we're going to try to survive for later on. to share more of these adventures with you. Take care. All right, folks. Well, we have just had an amazing adventure uh, here uh, over the last few days here in Wyoming. I'm here with Carrie Wells from Bowhunt, Wyoming. And, and uh, we wanted to just take a moment here to talk about uh, for real deer signaling decoy. Uh, Paula, she was kind enough. She knew we were coming out here uh, for a Wyoming hunt. And she put her uh, resources together and was able to, to make us a prototype antelope antelope decoy uh, to bring out here and, and we've been going on spotting stocks and, and, and we finally made it uh, come together unfortunately we weren't uh, able to catch it on footage uh, but just wanted to take a moment to uh, mention for real deer signaling decoy so if you haven't already uh, visit their website you can see the specs and, and, and prices and those uh, types of things but wanted to thank uh, Paula again for sending this uh, antelope decoy with us stay tuned